Okay, this is a bit, little bit of a continuation of a thought I threw out there about um, a man named Aaron. He's 47 years old, and he works with a woman named Grace, but it's a team of Grace, Meg, and Faith um, about things that go on online on Virtual County and Outcasts Online, two different uh, social media platforms in Victorson County. And uh, Aaron, part of his job to, he, one thing he certainly doesn't want to be is the messenger to the people basically who are doing wrong and by telling them you have to stop be doing wrong. But he is one to search and find, you know, he's been a part of these and for years and um, he sees what's going on. He's got a group of friends and they see it too. But anyway, um, he sees what's coming down the pike. He has a pretty good idea that there's going to be a major overhaul of videos and anything that's on either one of them. Okay, as far as what is allowed and what isn't allowed. Now, they have basically run it very independent in the, in the county. Now, I've seen other counties that have their own social media, you know, website. People basically usually are just advertising, but they, I've seen ones that have, um, you know, online dating is part of it. A variety, really, besides just, uh, you know, like people selling stuff or, um, you know, other kinds of advertisements garage sales and you know like you would see in a newspaper the um help wanted you know help wanted all of that <laughs> classified yeah it, some of them go beyond that and um this one has grown at first it was more like that but that was many many years ago the, the town the, there's a group they call the, the original group members of geeks basically and they were the some of the original ones that started off you know by doing things like telnetting into one another's computers and they, they basically helped in starting it all off. So did I, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, they, uh, um, some of them, you know, as, as time went on, then more recent years, they started to allow one town that was pretty much, it's called, actually called the Outlaws. They would not allow them to get on virtual county because of their pretty bad reputation. No, t no town should have a reputation because not everybody living in it is going to be bad. Okay, and uh, but it had been that way since the original settlers of the whole area. And um, they, well, once they they had developed a little bit, then they had all these the bad seeds, and they moved them to a town, and they called it the Outlaws. That's how it's got its. That's how it got its name, and they just kept it. So anyway, um, and they, the, the guy that had got kicked out of the original group of members of Geeks, he, he got kicked out because he became so arrogant, well, he was so arrogant, and felt like he should run everything, and he should be the one that decides this. Well, nobody does. But he got, so he got kicked out, and he got kicked out of the county because of, he was kind of threatening. So he moved to the Outlaws. And then he developed his own, which is called Outcast Online. And uh, anyway, they've pretty much run, you know, been running since way back when, you know, the, the uh, virtual county. But one of the things that they need to start focusing more attention on, because they decided to open it up to that one, and everybody had to come in, you know, like they'd go to a store, a grocery store, or whatever, and they'd... Um, show their ID and which had the you know picture ID with an address on it and that was the only way that they could um, get an account you know keep their account well they all got um, to keep their accounts but they had to anything new that they would post they would have to do it with a pseudonym okay and uh, in this in this particular section that was only for adults and uh, they were, well, they kept their original ones, but the other ones, no. And they could not point to themselves in the, in the other section, you know, from the, their old account. None of that. The new accounts in the new section had a lot of 
you know, different kind of like message boards and people could do videos and all that. But they had to be, you know, use a pseudonym, can't tell anybody. And if they did a video with themselves on it, it would be blurred. So nobody would know who they are. If they were advertising, that's different. That, that really goes back to the other one. So anyway, um, so and they allowed the outlaw, uh, people that lived in the outlaws to join too. Well, no, it didn't take long. It did not take very long at all before they started having troubles. You know, big troubles. But they'd already had some of that before then because um, some people had married into, you know, like from the outlaws, they, mar they married into people, into families of people. You know, they married somebody that lived in the rest of the county, somewhere in the rest of the county, and, and it just went on from there. You can imagine how it would snowball from there. And they started, you know, using their accounts and allowing other people to use their accounts that were, that should not have been using their accounts. So, anyway, so 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 did the out um, the outcast online. They he Brett he opened up his to uh, anybody in the county. Also, before he was just not going to, he was going to do do the same. Brett's a little bit, quite a bit childish, even though he's fifties. Or 60 somewhere around there quite childish and um, he's very rather narcissistic so um, he's all about greed all about money you know all about him being the most powerful the most the best the best and all that so the you know the, some of the people that were online there they were quite the same and from the out outlaws the town called the outlaws and um, they just all started, sh sh you know, causing troubles. And, you know, some people from the rest of the county, they did not uh, back down. And it just became a big mess. So, okay, now what Aaron saw, that's A-A-R-O-N, like I said, it was he could see what was coming down the pike. And it's going to be a major overhaul and all that. And um, so the elders in the county, they're the ones who run the county. And they have been, they're all, they, starting early 2020, they were moved because of some threats made to them and threats made to the original group members and threats to their descendants and all this um, and all kinds of trouble. They were all moved to different ranches, the uh, elders, the ones who wanted to, they were free to do what they want, but, and who wanted to be part of whatever it was that those elders um, took care of. And then the ranches surround the county inside of it but um, you know the towns basically so they um, they all moved to whatever one and they, they even have some that were uh, the outlaws and the outlaws the town they started up their own and um, they started to get more and more involved with the other elders and there's a lot of background on this but anyway so uh, you know they, they knew that these all these elders are you know Aaron figured out that, yeah, they're going to start, you know, really restricting it. And um, the the elders from the outlaws, they call one, two, three elders, and they they were ready to go along with it. And they, they see, you know, it's gotten way out of hand, and that's not what they're after. What they're after is to try to get, the, you know, to open up the whole county to all of them. And not the bad ones, you know, but the good, decent people that live there. It wasn't fair to them that, say, uh, their spouse or their parents or parents, their, you know, who, whomever was in their family that got kicked out to put in there. It's not fair to them. And, yeah, the, um, you know, it's been tradition, but the, the elders are starting to say, we want to open up to all of the elders, the whole county. You know, it's, it's not fair. They want to change it. It's not. It's been their tradition, but they're going to change it. So, okay. Now, now of course, the you know, the, the members, the geeks, they started off. They, you know, they, you know, the virtual county and all. They, they were going by laws, things that are actually laws outside the county, inside the county, all that. And, um, you know, they, they always do. They always go by the laws. Whatever form of law it is, they go by that. And they don't try to, you know, get real close to it. They they abide by the law. But things have changed, and they had kept up with the changes. 
But they, so they really, the, when the elders say that we want to do this, they had to go, well, we're not sure what we can do as far as limiting and, you know, all that. So the elders, they came up with their, you know, got together. There's very, there's a whole, there's many of them. And they took a vote and all that. And they said what they would do is just like they do with, before they put people in jail is depending on what they do that some of them they want to try to basically um, just keep them in jail and really work on rehabilitating them some say had they I remember when I took class and I took a class and this one they say why would they call it rehabilitated if they've never been habilitated in the first place I thought that was kind of interesting we all went yeah <laughs> But to, you know, give them an opportunity to change, you know, and it's not going to be strike three, it's going to be strike two, you're out. You know, then you go to the big, you know, outside of the county. But that's something that, um, that these elders wanted to do first, you know, they're, they're not, they're, they want to clean it up, all the fighting and all the arguing, and, and then a lot of it became aggression in the language, not just cussing swear, swearing aggression but overall very aggressive so the, the big question is what is the intention well two you can put them together what's the purpose behind all this aggression even the you know people they they see as good decent people started becoming more aggressive and that aggression was in fighting against the people who were bad and they wanted to know um what is the, you know, what's, what can we do to limit this? You know, where the, yes, you can go against somebody and they can come back against you, but the aggression, the purpose, the intention, the, that's important to them. Okay. So basically that was in lieu of just kicking them off, you know, that, that was what was originally on the contract that they had assigned, every person that's on it had to sign that they can, they can kick them out with for any purpose such as aggressive behavior and so on and so forth you know they had their own terms of service and their own conduct codes of conduct and all that and people had to read it and sign it and that would be that but then this just kind of blew up and so the elder said well we need to do something about this so um, and one of the things they decided was that just like the, the jail thing instead if a person was, you know, found doing some of this aggressive behavior, no matter whether they, no matter where they came from, in the county, um, they would go before the elder of their county. They go before the elders in their county, and have a discussion about it. <laughs> okay, no, it's kind of like infantilization, but these are people who grew up with knowing that the elders ran the county, and uh, within the law and that they too may be within them someday. But it's also a very wealthy county and they get dividends. The elders are really great investors and so are the uh, group members. And they have a lot of contracts that people sign and basically they can kick them out of the county. You know, kick them out uh, of that you know area except for that pretty soon it's gonna be any part of the county. That they would lose their inheritance and all that. They, they grew up in this. This was their culture. They've known it since birth, basically. That this is how things this is how things work. And some see it as good. Some don't. Some see it as not so great. But uh, because it does limit some things, but it keeps down the crime. That's what one of the things that's very important. That's why families, you know, they the people have options. They do have options. But that's why people in the county say, you know, it keeps down our crime and all involved in crime, except for recently something going on and they're going to get into, you know, figure out what's going on here. So the people are, that are going to be kicked out are going to go to court, like, like a court, but it's going to be of the elders. It's not going to be a legal court, but their court, the county's court, you know, which is basically run by whatever elders, like I said, in their the town for the town that they live in. Now, um, like I said, too many of the good decent people were starting to act more aggressive, you know, especially with the foul language and the, 
Um, and some of it they could, you know, even felt like it was just to gain popularity because they were seeing that the people from the outlaws, that the bad ones were gaining popularity because of the way they spoke, which was a lot of cussing, swearing, you know, name calling, letter words, all that. And uh, they wouldn't go far as the letter words, but they still would use some words that the, you know, this is all for adults, but still, they, you know, the elder said, you know, because some people were saying that um, cussing is what adults, all adults do it. No, all adults don't do it. And, um, and they wanted to know if there was something legal behind that also, you know, illegal behind it, that kind of language. So first they would go to court with them and then they would decide, they would make the decision. And, and if they, you know, like if they, 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 they knew the score in the county, people knew the score. If the elders said, no, you stop that, whatever behavior it is. They listened. Generally, they listened. Nobody wanted to get kicked out of the county. It was so beneficial to them. The low crime, uh, the dividends. It's like dividends. And um, it's very calm, peaceful overall until these troubles started. And uh, no, no, families don't want to get kicked out. They just don't. You know, people. So, okay. Now, not only, you know, this wasn't all that uh, Aaron saw. You know, it wasn't the only thing on things. He also saw a post by a sociologist in her 50s, Poppy. And Poppy posted a video about her pet peeves, which was this whole thing about cussing. And she, she said she really wants to know more about why people think that um, the, the way, she stated that the way that they, they seem to be saying it is that the feeling is that um, if you're an adult, you cuss. No, that you suddenly had permission to start cussing. You know, no, who grew up as a child hearing that you can't cuss until you're an adult? Well, some people, yeah. You know, that's language only for adults, but overall, what school teaches you, you know, whatever you grow up in, does it teach you that it's okay? Is there a time limit on it? And see, she had, Poppy had these kinds of statements, and she said it was one of her pet peeves. She didn't like seeing that. She didn't want to watch a video and all of a sudden hear all these words, these, you know, dirty four-letter words or the letter words all around. So the thing about it is, Poppy, she was, she's busy. She writes stories for um, the radio station. She's one of the authors of the other ones are, her sister is also a sociologist, and they're, they're, they're drawing in sociologists and counselors to do so. It took off. People love it. The county, people in the county, they basically stay to themselves, and they get most of their stuff. People make the stuff, grow the stuff, whatever it is, but then they, the outlaws, there is a distri distribution center for the most part. And they get stuff from the big city, which is like two hours away from the northernmost part of the county. And um, But people prefer to buy things made, um, whatever, grown, whatever, processed in the county. They keep it within the county for the most part. So anyway, um, so th they have people, let me think. I'm looking at my notes here. So, so they're like this. They, they want to keep within the county, you know. Um, so one of the things, but they know that they have to, they really need to find out what is, you know, currently the law and have a group of people who are currently aware of any changes within the law about what is allowed or not allowed in uh, social media, okay? What can you know cause problems for the county for the uh, social media websites and probably not the county but you know what i'm saying so they brought in aaron he has uh, you know some friends and he suggested suggested some of his friends um audrey sean penny and jenny okay penny and jenny yeah um to to draw to you know bring them in at the time, they were doing things like 
you know, if anybody saw anything and they reported it and it led to anything, then they give them a reward. Well, they decided to bring these in and pay them for their work. And they would do that and they would look for, you know, what is legal, what isn't. But also Wendy, who is an LPC, and Monica, who's an LPT, Licensed Professional Counselors. Monica hasn't been um, practicing as one recently, but she still has hers. And um, uh, Wendy, she runs a, um, basically, um, she runs a little, she, well, it's a little place where many of the people in the county, whenever they have trouble with their children, and these children can be while they're children or young adults, um, they send them off to this. It's kind of like a farm. It, part of it is a farm. And uh, it's in a town called Hippie Town. <laughs> and they send them off there for, you know, it's a retreat kind of thing. Retreat farm experience and all that. And um, they send them off there. And she, that's what she's been doing. But they're drawing her back in. They, they want, they're asking, of course. They have, uh, they can say no. Everybody can say no, but so Wendy and Monica mainly, and then some of the other ones on their spare time if they have it, and uh, but they want them to, you know, like um, anything that's sent to them about questionable for them to look over and find out what is the purpose, what is the intention, um, is it aggression, is it you know they're not going to work on the truly legal side, but they're going to evaluate it, get to know the people that sent it, if there's more that they can, and then send back their feedback. So people are out there working on this. Okay. And, um, and it all is to, you know, because there's so much trouble going on in the county, people threatening, the elders threatening, you know, the original the members and their descendants, and which is much of the county and uh, pretty much all of the county. And, but mainly the elders and which they cannot, haven't yet figured out why, what is going on, and who's doing it, and they're in that process. So, anyway, things are changing because, you know, sometimes things go too far. There, there are limits to everything. I don't kill the messenger. I don't shoot the messenger. I'm just, you know, that, that's why Aaron doesn't want to be the messenger because people tend to take it out on them. When they didn't, Aaron didn't make the rules. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And uh, oh, I know how that is. You know, that I did a video about that. You know, you, you don't realize that you're going, you know, you have a choice. And whether you tell forewarned people so they can change their stuff or, you know, what's, you know, no good deed goes unpunished pretty much on this kind of thing for some. But anyway, I want to get this out, and uh, by the way, this is part of the Victorson County. It's fictional. The people in Victorson County are fictional. <laughs> the whole stories are f hypothetical fictional stories, They're part of a series. And uh, I have some older ones. I've been doing them for years. These are really rough, rough draft, draft recordings, so it helps me to organize, and some things may just change at any given moment because it didn't fit right and that's that's what's doing it helping me besides um you know it helps me to organize it also helps for my me to get a sore throat <laughs> my voice will go in and out all the time and uh i don't do too many of them a day maybe maximum you know it's total 30 minutes 45 minutes don't even think an hour but i lose my voice anyway um so stay tuned to see what it's going on. I, I'm doing some videos that are going to go. I have to go and put them all in. Um, I had just changed up my channel and I need to put them all in. One of them that's just basically Grace's recordings. And that's some of the things that, you know, they're going to use in this. I'm going to use in these uh, situations if I haven't already. Uh, these fictional situations. So. I'm going to try to organize it. I hope I get them all. I probably won't. <laughs> yeah. But put them, in, put them all in there. But basically, these are fictional stories, like I said. And I do not know who this is behind me. Real life always happens in the middle of a video, I'm telling you. 
And you know how that is? Anyway, I think that's enough for this one. I hope it's, I think it's going to be really long, longer than usual for me. I'll talk to you on another video. Bye.